Ain't somebody getting fired. Who's the co-host with the most? Let's dress this thing on up, girl. And NFL commentator Nate Ferguson. <laughs> Next, Rachel. Tomorrow at 3 on WCIA 3. Central Illinois is the CI in CI Living. <laughs> group of Milliken University students who sure know how to rock. Joining me now via video chat is Molly Kruger and Zach Gable of The Hangovers. Hey guys, what's up? Not much, just sleeping in a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Staying up too late. Enjoying that, I'm sure. Let's just start from the beginning. Tell me about how Milliken University has brought you guys together as a band. Well, we're all commercial music or music business students, so they all kind of always see each other and uh, I know Zach and I started out in the same friend group at the beginning of freshman year because we lived on the same floor, the fine arts floor, and then we just started like talking about our music interests and we were like, oh, we should write and play together. So how has Milliken really shaped you not only as a musician on your own but also a bandmate? Well, we definitely have a lot of um, classes dealing with studio stuff and getting not just like the engineering side but I feel like just being exposed to a lot of it um, it kind of teaches you how to be a bandmate in like a recording setting it can be a struggle when you have to be there from like 7 to midnight on like Tuesdays Thursdays like Molly did that with it's called studio pressure night and um, it's just supposed to show the pressure of a studio yeah, I think it's, you have to learn to be flexible, and when you're around other musicians all the time, you just kind of learn to work together. You guys had a big season here. You just released your album, Planet Hangover. Tell me a little bit about this album and why it's so special. I know proceeds are going to COVID-19 relief. That's pretty neat. It took us a really long time to do. We're all very perfectionist uh, musicians, so every little thing to each of us was like, we have to get this perfect and we added a bunch of things and we ended up releasing it way later than we wanted to but it actually works out pretty well because now that everyone's at the stay at home order they're more likely to actually listen to the album <laughs> um, but we thought like what's something we can do that we can help with people who are struggling with this and so we decided that we would do a donation so if you uh give a donation of anything from one dollar to whatever then we'll send you a free download of an album i think that's pretty remarkable i mean you guys are an up-and-coming band and you're like hey you know what why don't we use this opportunity to give back and be generous i don't think a lot of newer bands would be doing something like that so my hat's off to you guys you fuse a lot of genres together how have you created your own unique sound i would say mostly just getting together and playing together and hammering the sound out because <laughs> um molly and our other guitarists they're they're heavy classic rock guys and i'm a little more a couple decades further i like to shred and hear the you know wailing guitars of the 80s so i try and bring that we all have different influences each of us and then when we write together and play together we just mix all them together and then it makes a unique sound Jazz is the primary like thing that you learn um, in the curriculum for guitar at least. Um, it's either jazz or classical based so we learn a lot of jazz and we've used um, some of like the jazz chords and theory and we've implemented it into the rock songs and kind of gives it I don't know if I say like an alternative kind of pop rock vibe or something but it kind of like brings that out more too so just kind of keeps evolving.